Good morning, everybody. Today is Saturday, July 17th, 2021. Week number 137. Holy cow. Holy cow. It's crazy. That's a lot of weeks. A lot of weeks. Long time. Yep. Well, hey, um, before we get into things real quick here, let's get our weights. Uh, last week I was 336, and today I was 336.2, so I'm going to still just call it 336. <laughs> Pretty much the same. Fair enough. Where are you at? Last week I was 148, and this morning I was just shy of 149. Um, I'm rolling with it. It is what it is. Um, things are going to even out. I'm positive of that. Yeah, I've been trying to... <laughs> Get into um, Stacy's brain a little bit on some old keto recipes and some new keto recipes. I'm just kind of feeling like I'm in a rut lately. That's all. Yeah. And we've been so darn busy. I mean, Stacy's had some three thirty in the morning days that don't end till eleven o'clock at night, and it's hard to try and plan and sit down. And you know, that's when meal prepping comes into play. And yeah, grabbing those meatballs out of the freezer and trying to eat on a schedule. Your your lunch was eight a.m., so yeah. it's it's weird. And then I'm home alone and trying to eat on my own. Mm-hmm. Then when you work those those early mornings, you got to go to bed by nine thirty, ten o'clock, which is oh, yeah, like middle not of the afternoon happening. for me. Yeah, that's not happening. So sleep was not there. And now this week I'm working. Last night I think I got home at like ten thirty. Tonight I'll get yep. home at eleven thirty. Yep. Um, it's inventory, so that'll be that'll be fun after the warehouse closes, and uh, there'll be a whole bunch of us doing inventory. So it's always a good time. They always play music, and you know we have a we have a, we have fun. Good. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, and I'm still doing all kinds of little projects and trying to organize, straighten, and clean. I did do my MRI and finally got the results back from that, and they were talking about a bunch of. There's a lot of big medical terms in there, but basically bones degenerated and um, spaces are narrowed and yeah. pinching of discs and like bone on bone kind of areas. Yeah, L4 was one of the main the bad main spots. Area, yeah. All I can tell you is for years it's been hurting me and bugging me, but it's progressively gotten worse. And whenever I used to fall or had a problem, within a day or two I'd be able to rebound and be back up on my feet. And lately, when I do, I am miserable. After I fell a month and a half ago or so, yeah. it probably took five weeks for me to be able to get out of bed without pain. So it's just progressively gotten worse. So I guess I got to meet with the doctors and mm -hmm. see what they say about what else I can do. I did a bunch of PT, physical therapy, and it didn't seem to didn't make any really difference. Did. I had good days and bad days, just mm -hmm. like every other day, you know? Yeah. So... And today we're going to finally wrap up our sump pump, get all that finally done. And uh, I've got a couple other things on the list. And depending on if my back is willing and mm -hmm. everything, I'll get more done than trying to minimalize and organize and reduce. Been doing mm -hmm. that for years. Yeah. But seriously, like just trying to get rid of things and straighten and organize. Yep. Cleaned up two of our cars to get those... Done yeah. now. We have four cars, and I'm pretty much the only person that drives. So I drive occasionally <laughs> to yeah. take the kids somewhere to go to the doctor's, and that's about it. Or to meet you for lunch. Yeah. So we we'll still have two cars. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna <laughs> let two of them go, and then uh, get Stacy a little newer car instead of 20 years old. So uh, gonna use the monies toward from those towards something else for you. So yeah, that's about it. Yeah. But uh, just trying to stay positive and. Uh, I do kind of want to get back into the whole, um, it's not that we went off rails on eating keto. It's just planning, prepping, maybe trying some new things that inspire you to like, oh, let's yeah. try that new recipe or something. I just get into a rut. I still have a bunch of chicken left too. <laughs> I, I've been trying to, because I was going to go away from chicken and go in a different direction, but I'm still eating the chicken because I still have a lot of chicken we have two fridges, and the other fridge has still got chicken in it, too. Because we buy it up big bulk bags. Yeah. 20-pound bags. Well, whatever. Lauren will be home soon. She's home for just about two and a half weeks um, in between apartments. Uh, yeah, that's our 20-year-old. So, so, yep. She's, she wants uh, to do some keto with us. Yeah. So, so And she likes chicken, so we'll have her eat some chicken. and. Yeah, I'll be inspired to make breakfast for both of us at that point. Yeah. So I'll be like, hey, you want some scrambled eggs? And, you know, make up her breakfast at the same time. 
Mm-hmm. So there are days lately where I just don't even feel like making breakfast. So I'll just have coffee and just be like, eh, if I get hungry, I get hungry. <laughs> so you'd think I'd be losing some weight, but no, I haven't. So, oh, well. Yeah, strict eating windows will help, but it's hard. So I've got to get myself uh, yeah. back on track. So when I'm working late, I'm eating dinner at work. Um, and it's just a matter of planning. I've cut back, so I think I'm going to only do one day a week over for Camus, for the reservations. Um, I've heard that before. I know. For the last two weeks, it's been just one week, one day. Except and for when they call and say, can you fill in? Or except for when they call and say, can you do a split shift? Except for when they call and say, well, somebody's sick and we only need like four hours. Well, I feel yeah. bad. When somebody's sick, you got to help them out. You know, I'd want no, somebody I get to do it. that for me. I totally so, get it. It's like no, you it's scratch just, my back, I'll scratch yours. It, it sounds good on paper, but it's not the way it works. <laughs> it's not the way it works. I only me. worked eight hours for Camus this 30 week, years. Was Monday. 30 years, <laughs> folks. I've heard it all. I know how this works. I know how the game is played. You do? Yeah, it's rigged. <laughs> <laughs> the game is rigged. <laughs> but... <laughs> I keep hoping things are going to settle down. And now it almost feels like there's a trickle of, of light or something of that body art might be starting up again. We've gotten a couple of emails and, and calls for yeah. that, which I guess is a good thing. But at the same time, it's like, oh, shoot, that's another, you know, obligation of time that yeah. we already are trying to squeeze 26 hours into a 24-hour day. But uh, yeah, this morning after we get this video done, I'm going to upload it and we're going to go right down and finish this sump pump and radon system that we have with a mm-hmm. fan. We have to get the plexiglass on and seal everything and turn this radon fan on that sucks junk out of the sump. I don't even know if that works, but it is what it is. <laughs> if it does, it's great. And uh, yeah, that's my primary thing today. And then I just want to keep organizing, straightening, cleaning, decluttering. And I'm going to go Donating, count. throwing away, all that stuff. And Stacy's going to go count. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> the Costco. Exactly. The Costco but I, here's the bad thing. I'm doing inventory and clothing. So in other words, she's going to be buying half the shit that <laughs> the store has. Yeah. Well, it was a really good deal. Well, yeah. When you can get a pair of dress yeah. pants and for two ninety seven. dollars Meanwhile, I'm trying to declutter and like... I'll take a picture of our closet, and you can tell me if Stacy needs another shirt. <laughs> Let's not talk about shirts, mister. You well, have your core set of shirts, and you have probably about 25 other t-shirts you don't even wear. No, I wear through. I go through pretty good. You know, there's this one thing there. They tell you to put all your clothes on your, your hangers backwards. Put them in your closet, and then revisit the closet in like three months. And anything that's still backwards is something you haven't worn, yeah. and that you should consider donating or getting rid of. Um, I challenge you, I challenge you, I'll do it and you do it and we'll see where we end up. But you gotta be fair about it and say, would I really wear that this day just because the hanger is backwards? But, um, I, I guarantee you, I could go through your closet and pull 25 shirts that you've not worn in at least six months. I pulled a bunch of shirts. Yeah, I know you have, but I could do it again. You, you need to see our closet that, that, that would make a lot more sense of it. Hmm. Yeah, it's got three big long walls, and two of the big long walls are full of Stacy stuff. And she's tried to go into my side more than once. No. Yeah, you have. No, I have not. Yeah, she has. Oh, I didn't mean to put those there. Yeah, you did. <laughs> Thirty years, folks. He's I, I know exactly what's going on. <laughs> and yeah, you can't you can't pull that on me. I, I'm I'm fully aware. <laughs> Oh, I love you. I love you too. So that's where we fell this week. Um, I don't know if you're still around listening to us ramble. We'll be back next week. And um, obviously we still have more chicken to eat. And I, I really want to get some like different recipes going. <clears throat> Something just change things up a little bit. You know, it's been a while since we've done is cheese in the pan to make the shell. Because mm-hmm. you were just talking about this earlier yeah. in the week. And then, I don't know, make a wrap out of that or make a taco out of that or just something. I bought some pepper jack cheese and it's such a simple thing. We're just, I'm just going to um, lay, lay out in. some pepper jack cheese and melt it, let it cool, and then put some 
turkey, which he doesn't like turkey, but he can use whatever he wants. Yeah. Some turkey, turkey and um, some aioli, 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 however yeah, you Yeah, I've it. seen that in the fridge. The chipotle mayonnaise. Um, I love that stuff. Maybe a little lettuce. I'm not big. Haven't you even put like a slice of pickle in that yeah. as a sandwich? Mm-hmm. I don't know. It might taste good. It used to be something different. Yeah. Besides the same stuff I eat we every day. We made uh, hamburgers. Well, we Bill made hamburgers, homemade hamburgers the other day. Yep. And uh, put some pepper jack cheese, some mustard, and um, a pickle. That was quite yummy. Yep. And uh, you had used, you found, where was that? Meyer that you found? Meyer. She found the Aunt Millie's hamburger buns that are like a one carb bun or something. Mm -hmm. Hadn't really just like looked at the label, dissected it to see how good or bad it was. But for one hamburger bun that I ate, you know, I don't think it changed my week or anything, but it's not like we're going to it. It was nice to have a, a just a real hamburger. Yeah. But they, they, those are starting to come out like the natural ovens. We've used those yeah. from the keto buns from Costco. I'm not a big, huge fan of those. Yeah. But it gets you a bun on a day where you're, I think we did that like 4th of July. We got some of those mm-hmm. and we had a, a real bun, you know. Yeah. And they didn't have hot dog buns. I'm sure they make them, but they didn't have them at Costco. So we just cut the hot dog in half and put it on a hamburger bun. So Same thing. Yep. Different shape. Yeah. Our daughter, our younger one, Julia, yeah. looked at us like we were crazy. Like, it's hey, like you it's gotta the do same bun, do. it's just a different shape. and Gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's literally the same bun, it's just shaped different. Worked well for me. Worked I fine was for happy. me. <laughs> I had no complaints. <laughs> now the one thing I don't do, which Bill, I know, used to do like a piece of regular bread and use that. I didn't like doing that for a hot dog. Oh bun. yeah, wrap you know? a hot dog in, well that's the hot dog buns we had as kids, if we had a hot dog bun. <laughs> See, in that case, I would just cut up my hot dog and then... Yeah, we did that too. And just eat it like yeah, that. Yeah, little coins. Yep. And now they tell you don't do that because you're going to like choke your kid, but I lived. <laughs> well, you know what I mean. They're like, these are choking hazards. I'm like, okay, I guess it is. You're, they tell you like split the hot dog down the middle and then yeah. top it up and stuff. <laughs> I don't know. I guess I'm just. I guess I'm just lucky because I lived through it. I never choked on a hot dog, but there are kids that have, and that's not a good thing. So, yeah. I guess be safe than sorry. (laughs) It's like all those things we did as kids. We rode in the back of the station wagons, and you know, El Caminos, and pickup trucks with no (laughs) no seatbelts or anything. Just jump in the back of the pickup truck and go. And you have ten of us back there. (laughs) I never wore a bike helmet. Nope. We were jumping things. We were like making ramps in the street and swinging from ropes in the trees yeah we did some pretty crazy dumb things as kids and i yeah. lived through it all i still have all my fingers and all my toes me too i've broken a couple of them but surprisingly yeah. i never broke anything until i broke my collarbone last mm. year <laughs> how i don't know i i yeah gosh i, I was lost. actually quite adventurous when i was little you know climbing as tall yeah, as we can in the trees anything, and then. nope never I lost track of how many things I've broken. I broke things I didn't even know I broke. And they said, oh, if it was broke, you wouldn't be able to walk on it. And then like three days later, when my leg swelled up and, and I was like, what's the matter? And I'm like, I don't know. It hurts. Yeah, it hurts. I walked home from school and they said, oh, if it was broken, you wouldn't be able to walk on it. <laughs> but my ankle was broken and swelled up really bad. And Same thing with my wrist. I busted my wrist. Didn't know that I busted it. Oh, if it was busted. You couldn't. Pick things up and do them. Yeah. Then took an x-ray and it was destroyed. And I still never put a cast on it. Probably healed by that point. Yeah. It healed all calcified and weird. Yeah. So I mean, now, that's what's going on with my shoulder. I think everything is calcified now you, and ugh. Now if you look in an x-ray of my wrist, it just looks really bad. Oh, well. Still works. <laughs> Anyway, it does. All right, guys. Hey, we're going to get going and uh, get that sump pump in and start getting going with our day. And Stacey's going to go do the little count a one, two, two a three. three, three, four. How many licks does it take to get to the center of a tootsie roll pop? A one, lick, one, a two, two lick. three, three, three licks. Yeah. To get to the center of the tootsie roll pop. If you're over 30, you know what we're talking about. <laughs> if you're not, 
Google it <laughs> <laughs> or YouTube it. Right. Yeah. What What was I the don't owl. know? The owl. Yeah, he was an owl. Yeah. How many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Roll pop? We're such a dork. Anyway, hope everybody's doing good. Um, just keeping on, keeping on, and uh, hoping for making some changes in our keto repertoire. Maybe that inspire us. I, I don't know. Maybe we need a reset day or something. I don't even know what I'd eat. I don't know. At this point, nothing really just... Food just has not been interesting to me. I've, <laughs> you just said, where do you want to go to eat? And you could eat anything. I, I don't know. I'm tired. I just want to sleep. I'd just be like, I don't know. I couldn't even tell you. I don't know. What would your reset day be? Maybe a piece of pizza. Nah. I like my pizza. Yes, we still have pizzas. Yeah. The we, have made the, we have made the keto pizza in a while. We have not. We haven't made a fat head in a while. The last batch we did, something was weird with the the dough was not crispy and firm like I would normally like. I don't know if we just put it away too soon or something. But Maybe. It, Maybe to just do it fresh and not freeze any. There you go. Maybe that would help. It's just a little bit of work to get it all put together. And we just, we usually are just running and rushing so much that there's no time. Mm. That's why when I make meatballs, I make like 140 meatballs in one session, eight pounds of meatballs, so that I can ziplock them, put them in the freezer, and then I don't even think there's any meatballs left. There are. There are? She's got them hidden somewhere in the freezer, <laughs> apparently. Less than a dozen, but there's some left. Okay. Well, that's good. Use them. I'll share them with you if you'd like. <laughs> okay. Considering I didn't even know where they were. Or I haven't eaten that many of them. Doesn't matter. That's, yeah, that's what they're what there for. for. Right. That's what they're there for. You, yeah. you take those and use those, you know? Absolutely. In fact, I kind of tend to leave that for you and just because I know that's a good, fast, easy thing for you. It is. So, all right, all, we're going to head out and uh, wish us luck on this sump pump. And I have a feeling we're going to get wet and make a mess, but we won't. Just got to get it done. Got to go in there with a positive attitude. Positive attitude, trying to stay positive. Absolutely. Had some coffee, so that's a good start. Yeah. All right, guys, see you later. Take care. Bye. Bye.